Just calling to let you know they finished scanning the crime scene. Make sure you check the report when you get there. Oh, the body and the weapon have been transferred to the Bureau. Let <laughs> them. The classified files are still there, though. I don't need to tell you that anything you see in that room is strictly confidential. Of course. Director General! Have you heard from Ash? No. Leave him to me. I need you two to stay focused on the investigation. Who's betting that the third part of the whole game, she'll be dead? <laughs> Let's go check out the crime scene. Even the music changed a little bit. I think of all we were done with the corridors and stuff. It's just here. The scan of the crime scene is complete. Here's the investigation report for you. Yeah! Okay. Her name was Ivy Clover! Ah, uh, it's the same situation with the professor. Looks like they managed to find her background details. The data's all classified, though. Why? Sounds like a bunch of BS. She isn't a Kairos host, mister! Which means we don't have an exact time of death! The best guess is that she died between 9 and 11! Looks like it was from a chest wound! Between 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. That's when Keith was down in the lounge. So this section's about the room itself. Looks like the Bureau's been using this room for surveillance! What do you mean? The idea is that the suspicious outsiders get assigned the guest room opposite this one. That way, the Bureau can keep an eye on them from this room. Apparently, Ash has been in charge the whole time. Ah, so it won't be a surprise if we find any traces of Ash inside then. Was Ash doing in there? And why would he have kept it a secret from us? I'm sure we'll figure it out when we take a look around. Yeah. No time like the present. Let's head in. Let's check out the body hologram first! This looks a lot like the security tags Institute researchers wear. It's got her name and date of birth on it. Irie Clover. Wait, she's 32? <laughs> what? She doesn't look her age at all. <laughs> oh, maybe because of the time travel? She died from a gunshot wound to the chest. But she was hit with a knife or a baton or whatever. Judging from the hologram, I'd say the killer used a conventional projectile weapon. Or did I not correctly remember? The question is, who would have access to a weapon like that here in the city? Hmm. Oh, it was afterwards she got knocked out. Ah, if you look closely, this gun has the QI Research Institute logo on it. The energy reserves are fully depleted. I don't get it. Where did the energy pack go? The wound on her head. 
It doesn't look like it was fatal to me. The likelihood is that she sustained a concussion and couldn't move. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that lines up with the memory I saw in the gun. I'd be willing to bet that she couldn't fight back because of that head injury. I need to figure out exactly what happened when they were killed. Something about this doesn't sit right with me. In the memory I saw, she tried to defend herself with her gun. It doesn't make sense that she'd remove the energy pack on purpose. Do you think the killer did it? I don't know. Lily, the energy pack might be here in the room somewhere. Let's take a look around. You mean she was not prepared? Or did she use it too much on me? <laughs> Wait, that's the gun we saw Ash having. A lead bullet. It looks like the one Ash kept hold of. It looks just like the case Ash found in the port area when we were kids. Nothing inside it though. Where'd the gun go? That's kind of weird. Cause of death. Gunshot wound to the chest, leading to hemorrhagic shock. If only we'd gotten here sooner. We might have been able to save her. According to the scan, the blood here belongs to the victim. This must have been from the head injury. Just as I thought. Well, I guess Albert gave them... A list of missing persons from 12 years ago. What was Ash doing with this? What's this? Looks like the trunk Ash brought here! I think it's locked. What was it he said? Take a good look at the top of the trunk. I mean, that's very like... Is this about the colors? the battery pack. <laughs> ah, here it is. This must be Irie's energy pack. What's it doing in the trunk, though? Hmm. Looks like I can use this to access the past. <laughs> Sneaked up. <laughs> and we can change for him to not put it back. Uh, there's no way I could leave this lying around. Sorry, Irie. It's all because of this thing right here. So it was Ash that hid the energy pack. But the thing is that the key she had before was different color, or was it like just... And he stole the clock tower key. Something missed from the depths. What on earth was he up to? Okay, well, can we go back to changing the past? Ash, it felt like he hesitated before hiding the energy pack. Maybe I can influence his actions at that exact moment. No. We've finished searching the crime scene, but there's so much to think about. Send a report to the Bureau. 
we're gonna change a lot of things with this, like... I'm not sure how the game will handle it. There! We finished our search! Yeah. How? What's going on in that head of yours? Lily, what do you think Ash was doing here? Why was he covering for Irie? And why did he steal the clock tower key? None of it makes any sense. The more I think about it, the more I realize how little I know about him. Hey, what's that face for, mister? Ash is hiding so much from us! I know. I'm real mad, mister! Why, though? You're allowed to be mad too, you know? How dare he keep secrets from us! Once we wrap up the case, I'm gonna give him such a huge lecture, he won't know what hit him! Well, he might be in jail already. I could have done something to keep him out of this mess. I might still have a chance. All I need is the gun and the energy pack. Lily, Irie's gun and the energy pack are being stored at the Bureau, right? Yep. Can't leave stuff like that lying around. They were moved to the Bureau for safekeeping. If that's the case... Elaine. Are you ready to reconstruct the crime scene? Oh, we're going into that? Well, we finished our search. I knew I could count on you. Elaine, there's something I wanted to ask you. Do you happen to know where the victim's weapon is? It's here at the Bureau. I'm holding on to it until we decide what to do with it. Do you think I could take another look at it? Why? The holographic reconstruction should be all you need. It's just, I kind of wanted to feel it <laughs> in my hands. <laughs> hmm. I didn't take you for a gun enthusiast. Ash, I could understand. But sure, one condition. It'll have to wait until you finish the reconstruction. Head to the tribunal once you're ready. Got it. I'm not sure why we're not changing things now. Like, I don't get it. Can we do it now? It looks like I can use this to... <laughs> yeah. Ah, there's no way I could leave this lying around. couldn't do anything back then. I should be able to stop her from getting killed now. But now I still need a gun memory. That's why he wants to get a hold of it. But like the game did not force me to do anything with that. Unless Ash was on our way to kill us. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> Quick check in the lounge because I remember they said something about the coin here. What's this? That's it? Underground city. Well, we know what's up with that. <laughs> 